if you try to come for Oscar, you're gonna have to come for me because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be her polar bear. I'm gonna stand in, in between. And the people that's bringing that up really just need to be quiet. Quentin Aaron wants the world to leave Sandra Bullock alone as legal drama sparks between the real life people behind the blind side. You protect his blind side. When you look at him, you think of me. Sandra took home the Oscar for her portrayal of Leanne Tui in the 2009 hit, a film about NFL star Michael Orr and the Tui family. I love stories about love of people, love of sport. It just, it makes a good film. Sandra did a great job portraying me in it. But after Michael filed a lawsuit against the Tuies on Monday, alleging they tricked him into a conservatorship shortly after he turned 18, some people are calling for Sandra to return her Oscar. Saying stuff like she need to relinquish her title doesn't make any sense. Now her co-star, who plays Michael in the film, tells TMZ Sports that people need to back off. She did a brilliant performance, you know, and, and that shouldn't be tarnished for you know, something that had nothing to do with her. I really feel like, you know, we live in a society today where people are so hell-bent on pointing blame on people. And to make a statement like that doesn't make any sense. Sandra Bullock didn't have anything to do with the real story. Never had one before. What, a room to yourself? A bet. Family isn't the one, really, that you're born in a lot of the times. It's the one that take you home. As for Quentin, he admits he doesn't know what to think of Michael's allegations against the Tui family. I don't even know what to think. I I didn't get the sense that they were the type of people to do something like that. It's unfortunate because I love both of them. Like I said, most I can do is pray that everything works out and that it doesn't completely destroy their relationship. In his lawsuit, Michael claims the Tui family made millions off his name after the film, which tells the story of the Tui family taking him in, helping to transform his life on and off the football field, earned more than $300 million at the box office. Why'd you do this for me? What? Everything. Was it for you or was it for me? Was it so I would go to school where you wanted? Michael was there. It wasn't, it wasn't like there was an agenda. He had a need. You know, we recognized it. But in the 14-page petition, Michael says the Tui family never officially adopted him and claims they tricked him into signing paperwork that locked him into a conservatorship, which gave them legal authority to make business decisions in his name. In an interview with the Daily Memphian, Sean Tui, the family patriarch, called Michael's allegations insulting, adding that the family is devastated and is, of course, open to ending the conservatorship if that's what Michael wants. And in a statement to ET. The family's attorney claims that prior to filing his petition in court, Michael allegedly threatened the family to fork over an eight-figure check or he would plant a negative story about them in the press. Despite all that, Sean Tui Jr., who goes by SJ, told Barstool Sports Tuesday that Michael will always be his brother. I, I love Mike at 16. I love Mike at now he's, what, 16 and a half years old, 37. Um, and I love him at 67. As for Sandra, she has not commented on the controversy, which comes just after her longtime partner Brian Randall died after a secret three-year battle with ALS. And Quentin has one final message about the whole ordeal. Everyone who's a fan of the blind side is rooting for that family, you know, rooting for their love, rooting for their relationship. You know, even now, 14 years later, because it's been such a beacon of hope for people.